Do you want to know how the lead arm and the golf follow through works? What position it should be in so you can make better contact with all your golf shots? In this next video, I'm going to show you exactly how the lead arm and the golf follow through should look so you can play more consistent golf and have a lot more fun out there. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's Troy from HittingItSolid.com here, where I help make the game of golf easy and show you how to hit the golf shots that you want to hit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how the lead arm and the golf follow through works so you can be a much more consistent golf. So before we get started, please don't forget to like this video and please subscribe to the channel. More subscribers I get here helps me grow the channel and keep on producing golf instruction videos like this so we can keep on improving and playing better golf together. So the lead arm in the golf follow through. So this is an important part of the swing because if you can get this position right, it helps you become more balanced and really finish through the golf ball to play more consistent golf shots. So I'm going to give you two examples and I'm going to ask you which follow through do you think you are and, and what position your lead arm is in. So the first one I'm going to do is going to look like this. Now I'm just going to take my right hand off for this example. I'm just going to do it with my lead, my lead arm. So that's the first one. And that's the second one. So which, which follow through with your lead arm are you? Please um, post your comment down below, I'd love to know. Now, I'm gonna let you know, example number two is the ideal position we want our lead arm to be in. If you're someone that looks like that first one, like this, as I go to shoulder height, quite often you're probably slicing the golf ball, hitting a lot of shots to the right with pushes and ending up in a lot of trouble in the golf course. Whereas if you look at most of the better players you see, their lead arm will fold more like this. So it's important to understand, have a look at your golf swing on video, or have a friend have a look at it from behind and just sort of determine what position your lead arm is in. So before we can get this lead arm in a good position to follow through, we've got to get our impact right. So it's important to just take a quick step back to ensure we get the previous spot right and then the lead arm bit will be that much easier to get right. So I'm gonna post a video above for getting into a better impact position that will really help you out as well. So make sure you check that out, but I'll give you a few points here for that impact. So to help get that rest of that follow through looking good, our impact, we've got to do, we've got to get a few of these keys right. And the first thing we've got to get right is we've got to get that forward shaft lean and we've got to get that left wrist flat at impact. That's absolutely critical to ensure that follow through with that lead arm is right. So we've got to get that flat lead wrist. We've got to get that shaft lean. We need to get in some sort of position like this at impact. And that follows on from the start of the downswing to make sure we have a little bit of lag. We're not getting rid of that lag because if we're flipping or early releasing like this, it's going to be really difficult to get in that follow through position that we're talking about. So, so just quickly on that impact position, making sure we come down, we're opening up our body, we're getting into that impact position and that'll help us get into that great follow through position that I spoke about. So now one of the keys to getting in this position is that, that left wrist on the follow through. If you're someone that did that first example you notice my left wrist, it, it hasn't hinged at all. It's sort of pointing, pointing flat. Everything's horizontal to the ground. So if you're someone like that, a great way to fix that and get the ideal follow through with your lead arm is when you come through, let that left wrist cup. And what I mean by cupping is, if this is a straight left wrist, this is bowing, cupped is just the opposite, is turning the, the hand like that. That's cupping. So if you were to go through, and I let that lead wrist cup, you'll notice the lead arm, it bends naturally, and the butt end of the club will point somewhere down towards the ball. This is not a perfect science, but it should fold like that, butt end of the club pointing down towards the golf ball. And that's a, an ideal position you want that lead arm to be in, 
post impact. So we'll do that again. That's the position we want to be aiming for. So a great drill, that, and you can just practice this without hitting balls, is simply just, you don't even need a reference point, is to make swings with your left arm only. Now, I'll give you two variations this. The first one, you can just do little half swings like this, getting that arm to fold, butt into the club pointing somewhere down in that direction of the ball. And just rehearse this, doing a number of reps. And that will train your body how to make that, that follow through position that we want with the lead arm. Now, if you find that difficult, the lead arm keeps coming away from the armpit and you find yourself getting back in that position, grab your right arm, hold it on your left, so sort of the back of your left bicep there, and just keep it in that position. And that will help you get that lead arm folding Folding the right way in the follow through. And that's a great position. That will help you become a lot more consistent, a lot more balanced with your golf swing. So when you get back over and you hit start hitting shots, you should find yourself somewhere in that position. Once you've done a number of reps with the lead arm only, you can bring the right hand on there. You can even start hitting really small shots at the driving range. Once you've practiced a lot, at home, just not hitting a ball at all. Practice hitting little half shots, only coming about halfway back, and just ending up in that position there, letting that arm fold. And that's the position we want. Butt into the club, down in this direction here. Give that a shot. If you have any questions or comments about that, please post them down below. I'd love to hear about your thoughts on that, what has worked for you and what hasn't worked. Once again, make sure you check out those additional videos above because we need to get those pieces right before that to ensure that the follow through all goes through correctly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel once again. Now below the video, there'll be a couple of additional links to further golf instruction. Make sure you check those out. Thanks so much again for watching. I'll see you next time.